So in this video, we're going to develop a method to find the derivative of the inverse cos function or the arc cos of x. And you can use this to find the derivative of similar variations of this function as well. I'm going to start with something seemingly unrelated. Uh, let's start off with the Pythagorean identity, which is the cosine squared of x plus the sine squared of x equals 1 and this implies if I rearrange this relationship I get the sine squared of x equals 1 minus the cosine squared of x and if I take the positive square root of both sides I get sine of x equals the square root of 1 minus the cosine squared of x which I'm going to write as the cosine of x all squared in brackets and let's call this equation 1 and the reason why I've done this will become clear in a second now we want to find the derivative of the inverse cosine function d dx of r cos of x well let's assign the function y so y as a function of x is equal to the arc cos of x and of course our aim is to find what dy dx is equal to if we take the inverse of these functions so if I take the cosine of y which means I take the cosine of the arc cosine of x the right hand side because these are inverse functions they cancel and we just end up with cosine of y equals x let's now take the derivative of both sides so I have the derivative of the cosine of y on the left hand side which equals the derivative of x with respect to x on the right the right hand side simply evaluates to 1 and if I apply the chain rule to the left hand side I get cosine differentiates to negative sine of the function y by dy dx which is equal to 1 let's take this sine of y downstairs which implies dy dx is equal to 1 divided by negative sine of y and now here's where equation 1 comes in so if I swap out the variable x here we probably should have done this to begin with to save you some confusion but uh, I'm going to swap this variable x for y so we have sine y equals the square root of 1 minus cos of y squared cosine of y all squared that is so the right hand side here is equal to 1 or negative let's bring the negative to the front over sine y which is the square root of 1 minus cos of y all squared okay now so in this step we found that the cosine of y was equal to x so this cosine of y here simply reduces to this cosine of y all squared reduces to x squared so finally we have the answer that the derivative of the arc cos of x is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared so let's box our answer and in a roundabout way this is sort of doing the reverse of trigonometric substitution with integration all right you might like to try this method with say the arc sine of x see how you go that'll do it for this video if you found it useful please give me a like and share this with your study mates subscribe to my channel for a lot more videos to help you with your studies if you have any questions or comments 
write them down below. If you can help me with a small donation, there's a PayPal link in the description. A little tip will help me make more videos for you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Best of luck with your studies and I'll see you on the next video.